five minute reviews. Sanctuary. Sanctuary is Bryce Dutton's directorial debut and it's one of those episodes that starts leading to stuff. And we meet Cara June who is a shock trooper from Old Run. And she can be a bit crazy, but she is my kind of crazy. She misunderstands then and ends up in a fight with him and says, Sorgan is hers. And Din, of course, wants to fight somewhere for him, Grogu, which is understandable. And I agree, I would want Grogu Jaren to be safe. Um, but then things change when villagers recruit Mando to help him defend their village. That's why he brings on Cara June and meets Omura and her daughter Winter, who take a shine to the child and look at him, which I love that fact because I just can't stop loving how much those kids and Grogu work well together and I just can't stop saying how much beautiful it is. They then work on what to do and I like the fact that they just don't want to move, they want to defend and good for them and good for them and that's what I like. When people want to defend, it makes it more dramatic and more fun. So Kara and Din teach them to defend themselves in a good scene. Uh, I remember just some great things and the villagers do some great things. It is just one of those moments. And then they end up winning their battle against the Raiders. And it starts with Karen and leading the fight. And it is one of those moments where it all ends in success and the villagers say. Now, I just love the whole thing about them defending. It It starts to show what kind of character Din is, what he's reluctant about, what he wants to do. And we see him in his first time he's leading. And I love that. And that kind of is good foreshadowing for the future. I also love Bryce's daughter being as a villager. Pretty amazing girl. Look, I just love the kids. They're so beautiful. And another one of the kids actually appears in a later episode. So it's nice to see them come back for a second go. And they do well the first time. I like the fact that Jin is designed to keep Grogu safe. Because he knows he will not be safe with him. And they're both kind of fugitives in a way. And that's something. But... Din's plan to leave Grogu with Omira ends up kind of backfiring where the bounty hunter, who luckily is taken out by Kara, indicating that the Xorgans are in danger, and Din does the right thing by letting him and Grogu fly away and keep trying to find somewhere to hide, which I think is a problem because the bounty hunters are a big threat in this. And we have the saddest goodbye with... Grogu and uh, uh, Course Winter, and there, it's just one of those sad moments. And it's just a moment where I think Grogu found some happiness, and it had it taken away from him because he's a threat when he isn't. And it's just so sad. And it, the way he serves them as they play away, um, back to the race of rest, well driveway, it's just one of those moments where oh, that's sad. I just think a lot of the things in this also work, especially when you look at. Acting, of course, and also there's some great scenery there. Sorkin just really looks like a beautiful part that I would want to live in and maybe make stuff for grow vegetables. Personally, this was a great episode, and for me, this was when the Mandalorian started getting good and started showing what the future was going to be like. I hope you enjoyed this five minute review. Please subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you for listening to the podcast. Subscribe to Fast and Jarrett and stay tuned for more podcasts. See ya.